again. Talking about subcoding. Um, I'm getting a couple of emails where uh, they want me to do uh, and explain how the subcoding work and uh, how to read it and uh, for those things. I know you guys know all this stuff already. Well, I took a field, I got a lot of young kids. They write me email. They, they want to know more about this stuff. And, uh, you know, I put this stuff up there. Some people, uh, I hope, pretty sure it's going to help somebody up there. Okay? So now, over here, again, picture this. Your high side, red coat. It's a red coal color. Okay, this is your high side gauges. Now you go to a job and uh, you, it's a TSV valve in the system. Now you cannot do super heat. You gotta go use the sub cooling. The way you're gonna do that is, again, let's say you high side, when you run the machine, everything is stabilized. You got 175. At 175 over here, between 150, it should be 175, right? 175, you start rotation point, your boiling point is 100, 100 degrees, okay? So we go to there, 100 degrees. Okay, now you get this 100 degree, keep it in your mind, or write it down on the piece of paper, and you go down to the machine and get the temperature of the discharge line, the high side, where you have this thing connected. It's, let's say the temperature, you, put, you, hook up, you hook up the thermometer, the temperature is 100, uh, it's a 90 degrees. So you minus 100 minus 90 degrees, which is the temperature coming out of the, comp uh, the condenser and the dis discharge line, it will be at 10, 10, you will have 10 degrees. So that will be your sub cooling, 10 degrees. Okay, and you could play with this up and down. You know, I, I use a, a normal numbers. Okay, and um, 